Hello and welcome to Biomechanoid Blues. I'm Andy Popovic and today we're going to be talking about, well, the word about and stories. Namely the one question that writers keep getting asked, well, what's your story about? And there are a couple of different ways to answer this. Um, one way is to basically give folks the stories elevator pitch. All right, picture this. It's a cross between Silence of the Lambs and Ghost. Everyone's dead, including the serial killer. That isn't really what the story is about. That's just a really quick summary. I mean, elevator pitches are called that for a reason. They're designed, essentially, to be given while you're following a busy you know, studio executive or book publisher and got them in an elevator and you want to give them the you know, really condensed hot take on your story. Other times when folks hear the question, well, what is this about? They'll answer like this. So it all starts off on this beach in winter. Three people are on it right now. You got a guy in a suit. You got a lady who le looks like she's dressed in like funky 70s clothes. And someone who is just sitting there in a bikini in like the middle of winter. I know, right? Okay, so from there, you then turn and you see there's this guy standing in the water wearing this weird carnival mask. And the two other folks there, they approach our main character and start talking to her and stuff. And that particular way of relating the story, it captures what happens. It's, it's a summary of the plot. It's almost a shot-by-shot -shot recreation. The idea is that this is, you know, what happens in scene A, scene B, etc. there. It's about the structure of the story, but not necessarily the core of the story. Uh, and this is what we, you know, often get when we are, you know, trying to explain our stories to, uh, to folks there. Uh, and that's also what we think about when we're writing them. Well, at least I do. So I came from a screenwriting background. My head was always automatically thinking about, all right, well, uh, what, you know, um, what happens in this scene? What happens in this scene? You know, where does that move from there? How does scene A impact scene B? It was all about the structure, the mechanics of putting the story together and getting everything to move onward. That's not answering the question, well, what is this story about? The best answer and explanation that I came across actually was on Facebook. It was an anecdote I saw. And I haven't been able to find it on my timeline. If you know who first posted it, um, you know, please feel free to drop something in the comments. But the anecdote goes something like this. Uh, a lady has been, you know, trying to essentially help keep herself sane during everything by writing fanfic. Uh, and she's a bit skittish about letting her family know because, well, her dad is a professional published writer. Eventually, this does come out. And her dad goes to her and says, oh, that's great. Well, what's it about? And she starts to explain sort of the characters and the, the, the plot. And then he sort of pauses and steps back and says, no, no, I mean, what is it about? And it takes her a moment, and then she says, it's about finding comfort and community in difficult times. It's about finding, you know, 
love in places that you shouldn't. And that, I think, illustrates the core answer to this question. Also, you know, kudos to a model writer dad there. I mean, he doesn't, you know, make fun of her for writing fanfic, and he, you know, doesn't, like, you know, start going straight into editor mode. He, you know, genuinely wants to talk to her about the craft, uh, which is always encouraging. But for me, that answers sort of the core of the question. Stories are not just the summary or what happens during them. There is something that they are about, that they say. Uh, it could be, like looking back at some of my stories, that, you know, blame and responsibility are not the same thing. That, you know, you are more than your traumas. That there is hope, even where folks have put blocks in your way. Those are the kind of things that often show up as we're writing them. We just know that we've got this idea, we're trying to structure a story around it, and suddenly it becomes about something. So, there are, you know, a lot of writers who think about <laughs> this as they're writing who consider, well, what is the core of the story? What is, if you'll pardon the phrase, the theme? And I know a lot of folks just had flashbacks to English class, but, you know, theme is a real thing. It does come up and, and crop up. Um, and sometimes it, the best times, it is coming through organically. It also is something that any writer should be considering as they're looking at their work. Um, there is a school of, of writing that's, look, I'm just, you know, writing this, you know, adventure story. There's a guy, you know, he finds a sword, he goes rescues a girl, you know, it's all fun and games and, you know, it's just, you know, pulpy, pulpy stuff, you know. And that's, that's perfectly fine, you know. If that is what you're doing, that's great. But that kind of seeds a little bit of the authorship to other folks. I mean, everyone who comes to a story is going to interpret it differently. But when you go in d trying to, you know, not actually think what it's about, what it says, then you leave the world open to impose their interpretations on you. So your, you know, adventure you know, may have just been something that you wrote off as a lark, but somebody else reading it can look at it and say, oh, well, this, this says essentially that in order to be a hero and change the world, I have to come from a, you know, a mystic royal bloodline. And that's the important thing. It's, it's not, you know, you know, who I am as a person. It's the fact that my blood is pure. And that may not be what the writer intended. But because they weren't thinking of the thematic consequences about what the story was about, this becomes essentially the takeaway from that tale. And when that's not intended, when your writing ends up supporting a theme that you didn't think about, that's a loss of the craft. Um, and that's part of the craft that I'm trying to work on. Uh, I get focused on, well, how do I move from point A to point B to point C? You know, I don't focus as much, well, at least I think, on, well, what is this about? What does it say? You know, and that's one of my challenges. So, as I'm going through my stories, the ones that I'm writing, the ones that I have written, I'm asking myself, okay, well, if someone were to come to me and say, well, what is this story about, what would I say? And 
what would you say about your stories? So that's it for, uh, for today. Uh, thank you again for, for joining me. Take care, stay safe, and uh, be seeing you. Thank you.